Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make onion barges. Really simple. You need some baking powder, 100 grams of flour, a little bit of salt, some ground and um, some chili, some turmeric, um, some onions and a green chili. So I've already prepped the onion. So you need two onions, which is soak in water while we do everything else. Um, I've sifted the flour and baking powder together. Um, so the next step is to basically, we're going to put the, um, put half a teaspoon of the chili and the turmeric in. We're going to add the salt, we're going to add the chilies, and we're just going to add a hundred mils of water to the mixture and we're going to mix it all in together. So I've got my bowl here. So I want half a teaspoon of chili. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'm just going to mix that in first of all. Nice and easy. I'm going to add my green chilies. And again, I'll be putting all this in the description um, at the bottom of my video. So I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to add the salt. And I need to add a hundred mils of water. There, close enough for government work. And what we're going to do, we're going to give this a good mix round to make our batter. There you go, and let me just show it to the camera so you can have a look at what we're starting to get. So we've got the batter now nice and done. So next thing, we need to start putting the onions in with the batter. And then we'll give them a good stir round too. So I'm just gonna empty the water out of here. And I'm just going to put the onions in with the batter now. And we're going to give them a good mix round. And uh, you know, in all honesty guys, bowl's probably too small for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it to a larger bowl. Um, and I'm just going to put everything into here. Just gives me a bit more room. And what we're going to do now is give it a good mix in. Get the batter mixed in with the onion. Actually, while I'm doing that, the next thing I've got to do is heat the oil up. So, 
Um, you can either do these in a deep fryer. Um, I don't have a deep fat fryer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, heat up about five centimeters in height of oil um, into my pan here. So I'm just going to pour this in now. I'm going to say these probably aren't the healthiest of things to be having, but they're a nice treat sometimes, right? Um, and then, like I say, generally, um, it will probably taste better than ones you might buy in the store for a Saturday evening. So I'm going to put that on high now. and let that heat up. Right, now let's finish doing this. Also gonna get some tongs out here I've got. So basically I'm just mixing the batter all around. And you're gonna end up with something looking like this. Now, it's really up to you what sort of size onion barges you want. Um, I, I, I would say this is probably going to make about four onion barges, um, a reasonably sized one, shall we say. Um, now, again, um, I'm going to put the whole recipe down, obviously, at the bottom of the video. But what I'm going to say is you can either increase it or decrease it to suit the amount of people you're feeding. Or maybe you're just doing one for yourself for lunch, you know? Um, really isn't that difficult to do. So that's done now. So next thing is to wait for this oil to heat up. And one, one way we can check if the oil's heated, we put a tiny little bit of batter on the spoon and we just drop it into the oil. If it bubbles up and rises to the surface, we know that the oil then is hot enough to use. So we're just going to drop a tiny bit of batter in. And it's starting to bubble up a little bit. So I reckon just another minute or so and it'll start raising to the surface. And we'll start adding some of this onion barge in. Now, I'm, I'm kind of curious actually if I couldn't just make one huge onion barge and um, <laughs> Cut it up as like a, an onion bargy birthday cake. What do we reckon? about done. So what I'm going to do is put a scoop in and just like that and what I've got is my tongs to turn it over. So they need about two to four minutes. So I'm gonna do it for two minutes on each side. And it turns out whoever used my tongs last broke them. It was very nice of them to tell me. And you see they pulled the handle off. So not a lot of good to me now. Okay, and um, my, my um, lovely assistant here has just decided to make them work. So now I look stupid, thank you. <laughs> my assistant doesn't want to appear on camera, 
However, if she gives me the thumbs up like that again for making me look stupid, I may well turn the camera down. I tell you what, if I get a hundred thumbs up, we'll turn the camera around on her. So these are frying quite nicely now. And another minute, and then I'll flip them over. You ever notice when you're waiting for that other minute, how, how long it takes? You know, you swear blind you could have flown to Miami and back in the time it's taken. Sometimes I'm not the most patient person, I must admit. Which is odd, because us British people are known for our patience. So again, another two minutes, and then we'll take them out and test one. Also, let me know if my assistant needs to get a gimbal, if, if she has smooth camera operation. So I could probably have done four in this frying pan at one time, but I purposely did two because I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like so you could have some room to actually see them um, cooking in there. So they're about to be ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe put another one in there. Tonight I'm going to have made about four bargies. Uh, and my assistant is a real Indian lover. So she really is looking forward to trying these bargies to see if they're as good as what she's had in restaurants or what she's brought in the local store. Personally, I think they'll definitely be better than the local store. Try that one in one minute. I'm just gonna throw the last bargey in. Get out the other bargy now. And we'll let's um let's get a knife and fork out and try one. So, looks different, but mm. yeah, definitely very good. Definitely worth trying at home, guys. <laughs> 